looking at a conceptual drawing of a low-cost solar heated house. Since MTD collectors are inexpensive, covering the entire surface area of a roof with MTD collectors can be a practical investment. Roofs are designed to shed water, but they can also be used to harvest the sun's energy. One or two collectors can be used to conduct experiments, but practical solar applications require a large, properly oriented surface area. The roof on this experimental MTD shed is made entirely of MTD collectors. The material cost of these six collectors is $300. By a strange coincidence, $300 is also the projected heat energy savings per year from these collectors in most North American locations. Let's take a close look at a simple experiment done with this MTD shed and a 10 gallon tank of water. Well, what you're looking at in the background is an example of a low cost solar heating system. Uh, there's no copper flow tubes being used and there's no copper absorber plate. That's what makes it low cost. This is called a modified trickle-down solar heating system. Water is trickled down from, the, from a drip irrigation pipe on top and collected inside a PVC gutter on the bottom. You can't see water flowing on top of the polypropylene absorber plate because it's not flowing on top of the absorber plate. It's flowing underneath the absorber plate. Okay. Let's take a peek inside the PVC gutter and see the water as it's being collected inside the gutter. Now that we've seen how water is channeled from the gutter, let's see how hot it's getting inside the 10 gallon storage tank. As you can see from this graph, a 70 degree temperature rise has taken place. Heat loss from an uninsulated tank is tremendous, but a tank temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit is still achieved in about one hour. The construction details for an MTD collector are fairly simple, but internet research about MTD solar heating is still advised.